We picked five, right? One more. Seven. There you go. So your test points have to be in between or on each side of each x-intercept and vertical asymptote. You have to fill in all the little gaps in between them. All right, and now you get to plug those in, okay? You're plugging those into the original function. Unless you're doing the shortcut, and if you do the shortcut, you have to plug it into that thing, but factored. This is not factored. If you wanted to do the shortcut, you would have to rewrite this function like this. You would have to write that, well, we factored the top and got this, right? We did GCF, then, then difference of squares. And on the bottom, it was uh, x minus 6, x minus 1. That's the factored form. That's right. They're both factored. You'd have to get it completely factored out, and then you could start plugging your test points into this and get positive, negative, positive, negative. If not, you have to take these and just plug them in here. And I mean, that's just going to suck. But you're going to have to plug all those numbers in here, 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 and then get your answer. And then here, 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 get your answer. Do that five times. It takes, it takes a long time, right? It's tedious, right? I'm just the messenger, OK? I'm just delivering the message. Here's the message, all right? You have to do it now. Y'all with me on this? All right, now I'm going to save us some time, and I'm not going to plug all five of those points in. I'm just going to tell you what you get as an answer. All right, so when you plug in negative 4, you're going to get a positive number. So you're going to put a dot above. How high up is up to you? I'm going to put it there. Oh, wait, did you say I did. Yes, I did. Yeah, I remembered to do it. Let me just double check. Yes. Yeah, no, that city council meeting, it was a guy, it was... Um, City Council meeting, and their microphones were hooked up to the, P, to the PA, like to the public announcement, and all the people were there, and it was live. And he goes to the restroom, and everyone can hear him. It's hilarious. There's like people like running after him and stuff. Okay, negative two. If you plug that in, you'll get a negative. So I'm going to put a dot here. If you plug in two, you get a positive. If you plug in four, you get a negative. And if you plug in seven, you get a positive. I'm going to put the positive way up here on this one just because I felt like it. All right, now, do you all notice a pattern? We found the first one, it was what? Positive, what was the next one? Negative. Then, Positive. then, Negative. then, okay. Do you think it's gonna always be that way? No, it's not, sorry. So you can't just find the first one and then make all the others switch. You have to check each one because sometimes it goes like positive, positive then negative, then positive, right? So you have to check them, unfortunately. Okay. Now, I'm almost out of time, so I'm going to just draw it now. Ready? Starting at the leftmost point, I go out to the left, and I must get, go to my magnet. Come to me. All right, and now connecting the dots, right? Boom. And then it keeps going down because of the barrier, right? Good. And then in here, between these two, I got to connect those three dots together. That. And then the top left has to go up because the barrier, and the bottom has to go down because the barrier. So, just for that last point, do we just. Oh, because that barrier is up there. I'm going to do it like this and then draw it like this. The barrier keeps going forever, right? Now, I want to show you something. Just, I know it's almost time to go, but I want to show you something. What if you would have put your point down here instead of way up where I put mine? What would yours look like? It would, be here. It would still go like that, right? And then this way, it would just turn up like this, okay? So our graphs are going to have some slight differences in them, and that's okay, but we should all have the same generic behavior. All right, we should still have the same generic behavior. Okay, so homework, homework, I have three minutes. I can put three problems up here in three minutes. I'm gonna write some problems on the board, and this is gonna be your homework. I want you to try these. That's really annoying. I can't change it, the IT department has that locked down, yeah. Yep. 
In fact, some of my colleagues bought this little thing on Amazon where you put your mouse on it and it like randomly moves it, so that never happens. And they, they use that in their classrooms. I have my own laptop, so I don't need it, but I just didn't hook it up today. Okay, here are the problems that I want you to try for next time. There are gonna be three problems. First problem is gonna be a case A example, then case B, then case C. So you have one of each to try at home. The first one, uh, let's keep this kind of uh, straightforward. Um, just to make sure you understand what's going on, let's go 3x minus 12 on top. And on the bottom, let's go with um, x squared minus 2x um, Sorry, I'm trying to think of what I want here. I gotta make this so it works. What do I want? Minus eight. Minus eight. Let me just do it. X minus four. Plus two. No, hold on, make that a plus two right there. Yeah, x squared plus two, x minus eight, that one. And then for the second problem, just to make your life again a little easier, so you're focusing on the method, I'm just gonna flip that over, okay? Just flip it over, so some of your work, you won't have to repeat yourself. And then the third problem, uh, let's do this. Let's go um, f of x equals we're going to keep the same denominator as the first one, so you don't have to repeat yourself on that. But then on top, let's go with um, let's go with that. Hold on a second, I gotta check one thing. I think I might have messed that up. So X, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do these on the fly here. Yeah, on this one, make it a plus up here. There, okay, that should work out. All right, you can take pictures if you want, if you don't wanna write those down. Please try those problems by next class. So that's, that's a significant amount of homework to, to work through, all right? So have a good day. No, no, just bring them in. Yeah. I really just want to make sure that you try it and if you have questions that you ask, right? These videos will not be uploaded till later on today or possibly even tomorrow. It depends on how my schedule works. But I will get them on online. Yeah, yeah, let me turn this off and get this out of the way. People are trapped here.